we know that the velocity is negative VOY times the time we're interested in plus VOY. Well, we know VOY, it's 21.6. If I subtract VOY off both sides, I get negative 2 VOY is negative 10 times T. But I know VOY, so I can actually just plug that in. I'm going to click on my calculator and finish solving this. I'm going to divide both sides by 10. So I need negative 2 times VOY, which is 21.65, divided by 10. And we find that my T should be, oh, I dropped a minus. That's negative. There we go. My time should be 4.33 seconds. We come up here and look, and yeah, it's 4.41 anyway. Oh, is it showing up? Anyway, okay. So 4.41 is what they got, 4.33. I estimated using negative 10 instead of negative 9.8. If you use negative 9.8, you will get 4.41. But this is close enough. 4.33 seconds is my total hang time. So there's answer part A. Now we can find our horizontal displacement. We simply take this, plug it in down there, 12.5 meters per second times 4.33 seconds, and we find that our horizontal displacement is 54.125 meters, which is within spitting distance of 55.2. This is, again, we've approximated um, because of the acceleration we chose. So our answer is a little bit short of the actual answer, but it's again close enough. So here's here's the long and short of it. Separating our two our two directions from each other, writing down the information we know. We get these using our right triangle trig with the initial setup. The initial velocity was at 60 degrees. We can break that into its components. We can draw these velocity time graphs because we know the acceleration. We determine that experimentally. We know the area under there gives us our displacements. That's what we're looking for horizontally. Vertically, we know the displacement. It went up and came down the same distance, so the total displacement is zero. Because we know that, we get this extra information. That is that the initial velocity, the initial vertical velocity, and the final vertical velocity have to be the exact same thing, but in opposite directions. So we can take that, plug it into our known equation of this line. We find that our final velocity, or the, rather the velocity at t, the time it hits the ground, is negative VOI. There it is. You solve the thing out, and the problem is complete.